So today I'm gonna show you how to add additional security onto your M1 Finance account. Now this is very important to make sure that you lower the risk of getting your account hacked into so that way you can protect your money. So we're gonna show you how to do this here in real time today. But before we do that, if you are someone who needs student loan refinancing, check out my link down below to learn how to refinance entirely for free, as well as a nice little bonus for you for utilizing my link and supporting the channel here today so you can get more free content just like this. Now we're gonna have the app loaded up here in real time so you can see everything step by step. So currently we are on the main page of M1 Finance. So the very first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and click on the person icon on the very top right hand side of the screen. Now mine is gold, but yours might be silver or gray. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that right here and it's gonna bring up our settings menu. Now in the settings menu, very first thing you're gonna to see towards that bottom half is going to be the security. And that's what we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and click on here today. When we click on here, you can see the option to change your password, which by the way, if you have a very simple password, I highly recommend changing that out or making it different if you've had it for a very long time. And then the second part is enabling two-factor authentication, which is what we wanna do here today. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that button down over here, and it's gonna give you the option to go ahead and enable it. You can see mine currently is off, so we're gonna go ahead and click that on here today. Now, mostly throughout the video, I was mentioning Google Authenticator, but I actually ended up downloading the Microsoft Authenticator, and it worked just as well, and I actually preferred it throughout the process when I was going through and setting up this two-part verification process. So something to keep in mind, I did mention Google, but Microsoft Authenticator works just as well, and this is what the icon looks like right over here if you wanna make sure that you are downloading the right app. Now, when it goes through this process, it is gonna show you that there is a couple different things you gotta do through this. So first and foremost, you can install Google Authenticator onto your phone, which you do need to do first and foremost. And then once you have that downloaded, you can go ahead and manually enter in the code that you have for the Google Authenticator, so that way they can go ahead and go through this next process. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and copy this and go into the Google Authenticator. And again, if you don't have that, you wanna make sure you go ahead and download that throughout this process as well. So if you already have the Google app downloaded for the Google Authenticator, you can just go ahead and click on your Google code over here, and it'll actually offer to open up the app directly for you. So that's what we're gonna do here today, is click on here, and it's gonna just confirm with us for M1 Finance opening up this new app, which we're gonna go ahead and do. So here it says uh, a couple of things that we wanna note. So we're gonna go ahead and click on okay here. And then right here at the top, we're gonna see where it says M1 Finance. Of course, I'm blurring out some information there and our new account authorization here for us. Now, what this really does is anytime we are trying to log in, it is going to give us a temporary code that we need to be putting in. So that way we can go ahead and log in and give ourselves that extra security. If for some reason, somebody is trying to hack into our account. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and load up M1 Finance once again. And then from here, what we're gonna do is go ahead and click on the next button. So from right over here, it's gonna say, please input the code generated by Google Authenticator. So you can see here, when I go onto the actual uh, Authenticator, the timer has it. So that way after 30 seconds, it does give me a new code. So I just sometimes wait if I'm very close to that timer expiring. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on here and then it's gonna just have me go ahead and copy the code. And I'm just gonna go ahead and jump back into my M1 Finance uh, account here. I'm gonna click on next and we're gonna go ahead and authorize that code and then go ahead and verify. Now here it says success, your account is now enabled for two-factor authentication and you will be asked to enter in additional codes when signing in. So we're gonna go ahead and click on okay. And now we're gonna go ahead and go back into our main page for M1 Finance, which is right over here. So now we have extra level of security when it comes to M1 Finance. Now I want you to keep on learning more when it comes to utilizing M1 Finance as a platform. So check out my videos right over here to keep on learning. My name is Dennis and I will see you in that next video.